Oftentimes when people get to the end of their cancer treatment, whether it's radiation or chemotherapy, they almost have sort of a lost feeling because they've had almost continuous interaction with their healthcare providers five days a week many times and it's over and they often are very scared. It's a whole different unknown phase and they have a lot of fears about how can they keep it from happening again? How am I gonna get back to my life? And often some depression goes along with that. Chemotherapy is so rigid and hard. You just can't imagine that somebody would not wish it to be over. You know, you just, the average person can't understand that. But finally my day come on October 29th and my nurse who had been with me the whole time she's cheering my, me on my phone is blowing up it's your last treatment and I'm so scared you know I almost wanted to say no <laughs> don't take it away you're taking away my safety net you know now what am I going to do how am I going to battle this cancer who's, who's going to help me the Relive program was originally brought forward from requests from some of our cancer patients. It was designed to bridge the gap a little bit between the immediate treatment period and getting on to the rest of their life. We make an appointment, sit down with them one-on-one. -on -one. We do an extensive health history and physical assessment, go through everything that they've gone through up to that point, and then we perform some basic exercise tests to get a sense of where they are right now. And most importantly, we learn what is the patient's goal. Some of them have goals to be able to tolerate long periods of exercise and activity. Some of them just want to be able to play with their grandchildren or walk to their mailbox. So really individualizing the program is very important. Whenever I started in the exercise program the two laps in the warm-up laps I was winded which was very odd for me I'm a big outdoor enthusiast I, I have always walked a lot I was so active my job was busy um, and then I could barely walk two laps Oftentimes the process of chemotherapy and radiation can be very, very exhausting. It leaves the body very fragile, very vulnerable, possibly to injury or infection. So we help the patients figure out what their limits are. Many times their, their mind and their heart is willing, but the body just needs a little bit of time to catch up. So we have that supervision of them to help them pull back when they need to. There were days I would make it two minutes and there were times I couldn't go three machines and then then I could do four minutes and three machines and then I could do my seven minutes per machine three machines and then I could do nine and eleven and go upstairs and do yoga and then someone said to me one day what if you give up all these things and you have a reoccurrence I said you know I've thought about that but my thought was at least I'll know I've done everything I could. We truly have a multidisciplinary team that works with the patient to gauge how everything is going throughout their whole life. The reality is some cancer does reoccur and for patients that have recurring cancers if they are concentrating in between times on getting strong if the cancer does reoccur worst case scenario they're in a much better position to handle another round of treatment and to fight things off a little bit better. That was how I had to look at it then that I was going to have something new to battle this cancer with and it was going to be me and choices, food choices, health choices and, and so that's what I've been doing. It was a victory for me and every victory for me is a victory for every cancer patient you know, it's like, yeah, you know, <laughs> I made it. It was a victory.